Pirates of Dark Water. Pirates of Dark Water. Pirates of Dark Water. Did you know that after shutting LucasArts down, Disney set up something called Lucasfilm Games to provide support for live and upcoming games? Live and upcoming games, so we're talking Battlefront 2 and Jedi Fallen Order. Sometimes I feel like they're just pissing in the wind. Why close LucasArts at all? I don't know if they even know why. I just do things. Exclusive rights to electronic arts. Oh shit! Listen Disney, I don't think anyone will hold it against you if you said, you know what, we made a mistake, we should at least consider the old LucasArts business model. Since you certainly won't be providing any support for this fan project of remaking the first level of Star Wars Dark Forces in Unreal Engine 4, in fact, I don't know if I should even be talking about this. The less said of that one the better, even a stray thought may draw him, and it is possible that he cannot be defeated. Too much attention, and next thing you know, Disney's like, you smell that? Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh don't look over there, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. So let's just let it happen. Epic Game Store, aka Eggs, are really trying to put themselves out there. Two games I've been looking forward to have announced exclusivity deals this past week. Phoenix Point and The Outer Worlds. Needless to say, the reception was not exactly positive. No, I got to be, I got to be honest with you here, boss. Yes, the user features on Eggs is paltry compared to Steam, and they're bulldozing their way into being a legitimate competitor. But from a developer and publisher point of view, Eggs is driving a hard bargain. Spyware-like practices notwithstanding. But don't worry, Epic boss Tim Sweeney says that they will stop buying up exclusives. Eventually. He also said that Eggs won't sell any porn games or bloatware like Steam. I'm sure that gives him a very nice feeling of superiority. Google Stadia or Stadia. I don't know what else to say about this other than third time's the charm? A little while ago, Chris Avalon said he finished work on Jedi Fallen Order. And there was much rejoicing. But he also said that there was another announcement coming. Chris then changed his little Twitter caricature to what appears to be Dracula. I wonder what he's alluding to. But I've waited so long. Ladies and gentlemen, people have in fact been waiting quite a long time for this. And to have none other than Chris Avalon attached to it? I have to say that him leaving Obsidian Entertainment and going freelance is probably the greatest blessing in disguise the gaming industry has ever had. They've been putting out feelers for this for quite a while now. I was even gearing up to start making videos on the first game. This would be the best time, but unfortunately, I can't. What I was initially going to announce this video was that I'm gonna have to take some significant time off to focus on earning my degree. I was also hoping to discuss my channel monetization and figure out how to get people to actually watch and or click on the ads because that's the requirement for any amount of compensation. However, I was denied monetization for the third time and I am officially out of ideas. I really thought I had it this time. I guess that's what I get for having confidence in myself. Reused content was again the reason I was given. I don't want this video to drag on so I've decided I'll make a separate video because you see these bullet points? These extremely vague bullet points? I can play definition tiddlywinks with these until the end of time. What I'd really like to do is take them out to Battery Park and hang them by the scrotum. If they were truly honest about these, I don't think YouTube would exist. Furthermore, I was planning on going to a comic book convention today, but after the bad news, I didn't really feel like it anymore. I made a community post about it, and you guys actually convinced me that I should go, so thanks for that. Unfortunately, the tickets sold out and I did not buy one. I thought maybe I could go there, find some old Star Wars comics, Tales of the Jedi and such. Well, maybe next year. Oh, did I say Star Wars and Tales of the Jedi? I mean, yeah, I don't own them, I know, I'm sorry, but, well, you see, what happened was- 